that leaves my breath fragrant, of turmeric that makes my flavor stay, of cinnamon that swirls in my senses, of nutmeg that which goes a long way. Greetings, everybody. I am Kride Sharma from St. Mark's Senior Secondary Public School, Mirabag, India. Greetings, everyone. I am Gavar Sugal from St. Mark's Senior Secondary Public School, Mirabag, New Delhi, India. Hello everyone, I am Shabdi Shukla. I am studying class 7 of St. Mark's Senior Secondary Public School. Greetings to everyone. Myself is Amir Agarwal from St. Mark's Senior Secondary Public School, India. And here we present Spicing up our mental health, the SFH effect. Public School did research with prep children. The survey was conducted by the means of questionnaire for the age group of 3 to 6 years. Prep children, unaware of technical jargons like SFH, etc., answer stress differently depending on the development stage, but still 82.47% children like to study in school. As far as their sleeping pattern is concerned, they all are able to sleep well. 64.7% of students confirm that they are finding online sessions useful and understanding it. However, when it comes to their mood swings, every one of them is upset because they are unable to go outside for playing, which is the saddest part. Some parents did took out time for joint activities with children which was helpful for scheduling their daily routine but they still miss the company of their pals which is much needed. Thank you. The survey which was conducted by a means of questionnaire and not surprisingly mentioned that offline classes were preferred as 85% 85.7% of them thought that offline classes were better as they thought the concentration level diminishing due to the pandemic in online classes. So, on one hand, SFH has increased screen time, which making the students feel lethargic, but it has also distanced people, making them feel mentally drained out. As you can see, 66.7% of them experienced more mood swings during the pandemic, and and their, oh, boosting their immunity was their only choice. So they ate different spices like cinnamon, turmeric, etc. which helped them a lot. And yes, they learned some new, new skills such as coding, dancing, drawing, cooking, etc. Exploring their new self. Greetings everybody. We conducted a research using an online questionnaire involving students from various universities globally to analyze how the study from home scenario is affecting them. The initial study showed that surprisingly, college students preferred online classes over offline classes. But on researching further, we found that 52.9% students had irregular sleep patterns. This digital transformation of education has a certain appeal with this age group. But a student revealed that he had been a victim of online bullying, which is something to take a note of. The sample population also revealed that most of them were taking regular intake of spices, mostly in the form of immunity drinks and turmeric milk, which is conducive to our own research. Thank you. We have to make an activity scheduling for the, for the kid. There has to be, you know, uh, one, you have to limit your uh, screen timing. And the nutmeg oil, so it will help to in, uh, cure the pains of joints or any pain. Cinnamon is given in Alzheimer and Parkinson's, okay, because it helps in neuroprotective function and helps in increasing the neurotransmitters between uh, by establishing the connection between nerves. So the first spice I'm going to tell you about is turmeric. Turmeric is given in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Turmeric is given in Alzheimer's and 
Indonesia. And sometimes, like as I already said, if you have a headache, your mom must say that drink this uh, turmeric meal and you will feel better. It is because first our turmeric has a special relation with our brain. So this makes our brain memory really strong. So the second spice is cinnamon. So it is also really good for our mental health. And it's so strong that even its smell can make your mental health. No, memory really strong. And the third spice, uh, spice which we have is black pepper. Now black pepper is also known to boost our immunity and it is also known to like solve our digestive disorders and because of that the people who live in Kerala start their day with black coffee. So what they do is when they are having black coffee they add a pinch of uh, black pepper powder. So because of that their immunity is good and even their mental health and mind is also really strong. It's rightly said that it's okay to say I'm not okay. And the happiness lies in that as being mentally healthy is evidenced with the ability to cope up with the normal stress of life, work responsibly and productivity to make a positive contribution to the community. Our research suggests that especially in this study from home era, the medicinal properties of spices have revealed its benefits. The results obtained using different tools de developed the positive correlation between the student's healthy state of mind with the consumption of Indian spices as they mitigate the harmful health consequences associated with studying from home. So let's live life with a little spice. Thank you.